valved harmonicas. Do you need valves on a chromatic harmonica? Today I'm going to be comparing the Seidel Deluxe Steel to the Eastop Forerunner. And the price on these harmonicas, they're like this one costs about 10 times the cost of this one. This one costs about 30 euros. This one will be 300 euros. This is the cheapest Chinese made professional harmonica you can get. Like even the cheap models from Eastop are good. And this is the one of the cheapest German made chromatic harmonicas you can get. Uh, what I'm not able to show you through sound is the feel of these harmonicas. The Seidel feels significantly more solid, more well built. This one is flimsy, it feels like it could break easily. And uh, I wouldn't expect it to feel like solid as well. They probably used the cheapest materials for this one. And this is the old version of the Forerunner. They made a new one and I suspect since the price doubled they saw that this one was popular and they decided to um, release uh, one with a bit more quality in it. So I'm just gonna be playing some things and you can judge yourself if you, uh, you can hear any difference. Uh, from my perspective as a player I, there's a lot of difference and uh, the valveless ones kind of leaves me unsatisfied. So we'll see. Are we able to tell the difference? From my perspective, the valveless one feels a bit thinner.
there's also uh, one aspect that is important to consider and that is valve bends on a valveless chromatic you can bend like on a diatonic like this and because you are able to bend into the button note you may end up with this sound so Those are like the nice bends that you can do, like four, four draw or five draw and seven draw. But with valves, you can get even nicer bending sounds. You hear that difference? And there, I did a bow bend on the valve zone. Listen to this. I can bend on the blow note. This is the um, G. There's like a whole field of expression that is just gone from the valves chromatic. It's not the same. It's very nice for practicing muscle memory, but you will never be able to make a valves chromatic have the same depth of expression as a valve one. And that is mainly because the valve gives it a fatter, deeper tone, and the valves enables you to do valve bends, so you can bend on the blow notes, on the draw notes, every hole. You can get soulful nice bends, while on this one you can only get them on holes where there's a hole tone between the blow and the draw. So you can bend between C and D, you can bend between G and A. That's it. Here you can bend all the way. But you're gonna deal with valves sticking and you're gonna need to open it and clean it and change the valves every now and again, which is part of playing a professional instrument.